Cloud and coding are going to look very different in the next few years. AI isn't just helping us write simple lines of code or prototype front-end applications anymore. It's changing the way that developers work end-to-end. -end. If you're like me and went to college before AI tools existed, you'll know how much time we spent grinding through coding assignments or even thousand word essays. But now, the kind of work that used to take hours can be done in a few seconds using AI. And if you don't adapt to this shift, you'll get left behind. In fact, Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, said that students should master AI tools the way that his generation learned to code. That's why in this video, I'll be sharing with you the top three trends that will reshape the future of cloud and coding. I'll also be sharing with you a cloud project I built last week completely using AI and how you can do the same with a tool called Warp. Let's get into it. All right, trend number one is the growing partnership between humans and AI agents. For decades, coding has been centered on humans typing every line. Even with autocomplete or copilot style suggestions, you are still doing most of the work. But nowadays, the model is changing. We're moving towards a true partnership where humans and agents work together. AI agents aren't just going to be assistants that can spit out code snippets anymore. They can now plan entire technical projects, map dependencies, and refactor code across multiple files. It's almost like having a bunch of developer teammates, except they can work an unlimited amount of hours without getting tired. They do need your help from time to time, but the more you work with them, the better they get at the tasks. And with that, your role as a human shifts from how do I implement this function to how do I prompt and direct an agent to build exactly what I want. This shift also applies to the cloud. If you're a cloud engineer and you're looking to build a cloud native application, you no longer have to manually write Lambda functions or type in CLI commands. Instead, you can just describe what you want in plain language and your AI AI agent will generate the entire application. They will ask you follow-up questions and certain permissions to perform the tasks in order to achieve this. And of course, this means more free time so that you can focus on things like scaling architecture or managing security, both of which need human judgment and decision-making. The problem is most people still think of AI as a single assistant, but the real power comes from multiple agents working together, each focused on different aspects of a project. Let me show you what I mean through this cloud services comparison tool I built last week using Warp. All right, so here's the AWS service comparison tool I built using WAP. You can see here that it compares AWS services with detailed information about categories, features, and pricing. Let's check it out. So I just have a list of 10 AWS services to start off with, but of course I can always add to this catalog. Here's all the categories I can filter by, and I can also see if the service is within the free tier or not. Let's say I filter by database. Cool, so here's the two AWS databases in my catalog. It lists the key features as well as the pricing models. What I can also do is choose to compare two AWS services side by side. So let's say EC2 and S3, and I'm gonna click on show comparison. Nice, so there's category, launch year, if it's in the free tier. I mean, this application is pretty cool, right? Now, what if I told you that I didn't have to code at all to come up with this application and to deploy it onto Vercel? I use this tool called WAP, which is pretty much an agentic development environment. Like it says here, you can go from prompt to production. Many of my developer friends love it, and it's trusted by over half a million engineers at these leading companies. All right, let's take a look inside WAP to check out all of its features. As you can see here, I'm in my cloud service comparison tool. If you want to see the full tutorial, you can check out this Build With Me video where I walk through exactly how I built the tool. But yeah, let me show you some of the features. Let's say I want to expand my cloud services comparison tool beyond AWS. I also want to add in Azure services as well. What I can simply type is add Azure services to my application. And you can see the steps that it's taking. By the way, you can see that it's going through each step quite quickly and I don't really need to do anything. And that's actually because of the way I've set up the permissions. Apply code diffs, read files, create plans, execute commands are on always allow. But if you want to review the changes every time the agent performs an action, you can change it to always ask. Cool, so now it comes up with a list of tasks to perform in order to add in Azure services to our cloud comparison tool. It's going to take a few minutes to complete, so let's wait for a bit. Amazing, okay, so our application includes now both AWS and Azure services. The cool part is that I can choose an AWS service and an Azure service, and then I can compare it side by side. From this demo, you can clearly see the collaboration between humans and agents. The agent handles the heavy lifting, but you're always in control of what actually gets shipped. 
Alright, trend number two is that cloud and AI will start blending together into one skill set. Now, this is especially important for my cloud learners out there because this will impact what you'll need to learn and upskill in. So traditionally, cloud and AI have felt like two separate paths. You have cloud engineers focusing on AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. And then you have AI and machine learning engineers working on models and training pipelines. Companies had cloud teams and they had AI teams. But going forward, these two worlds are going to intersect. Cloud and AI won't be siloed skills anymore. Instead, they will form one combined toolkit. Companies will expect cloud engineers to use AI in their day-to-day -day work, spinning up cloud resources with AI, integrating AI agents into their workflow, and so on. According to Gartner, one of the research firms out there, the rise of agentic AI will mark one of the fastest transformations in enterprise technology since the adoption of public cloud. But the good news is that AI pretty much runs on the cloud. The more demand there is for AI resources, the more job openings there will be in the cloud space. My recommendation is to build strong foundations in both areas. Learn how AI agents can help you automate cloud tasks and at the same time, understand how cloud infrastructure supports AI. In the future, instead of bouncing between five different tools, you'll likely be using a single environment where cloud, coding and deployment are unified. Let me show you an example of what I mean. With Warp, I can plan my projects, use it as a code editor, work with AI agents, as well as deploy it to the cloud. I've already shown you how to work with AI agents in WAP, but let me now show you how you can edit code directly while the agent makes the changes. So I've noticed in my cloud service comparison application that Amazon Aurora is missing. Let's add that in now. I'm going to click on proceed with plan. So WAP has realized that Aurora is not currently in the database and it's going to add it in to the root level. So now it's asking me for permission to add Amazon Aurora in. Let's click on execute. Nice, Amazon Aurora has been successfully added to the cloud services comparison tool. On the left hand side, I can view the changes that have been made and on the right hand side, I actually have the code editor open so that I can access and edit the files directly. Let's say I want to list an additional feature. What I can simply do is type in Aurora supports global databases. And so what I can do is simply save it and then I can close this code editor section. Okay, let's move on to trend number three, and that is debugging will become mostly automated. Now, debugging has always been one of the slowest and most frustrating processes in software development and cloud. If you've ever deployed a CloudFormation stack only to get back a vague rollback failed message, you know exactly what I mean. Or maybe you've written a simple script ran it and all you saw was an error saying that something went wrong. Starting from now, that's all going to change. I mean, we're already seeing the trend. There's a lot of tools out there that can help you catch errors faster. But what's new is that AI agents can now step in. With AI, instead of just showing you the errors, the agent can analyze the logs in real time, explain the problem in plain English, and even generate a suggested fix. What's powerful here is that you still stay in control. Agents will propose the fixes, but you can be the one to review them, refine them, and decide what actually gets shipped. Let me show you how cool automated debugging is. So what's happening here is that I'm trying to debug my application. I want to run it locally in my computer, but you can see here that this site can't be reached. So here's what's happened with the debugging. It's noticed that the data.py file defines AWS services, but that the main.py file is trying to import cloud services. On warp, you can see the direct code differences. And yeah, let's try to see if it can get it running. Okay, I'm going to apply this change. I like how it's updating me on every step of the process. Apply changes again. Now I'm going to set it on auto approve. So this arrow right here. Cool, so I could just walk away from my computer now and in a few minutes, it's probably going to help me finish resolving my issue. Now, while that runs, let me share with you why I'd recommend using Warp for your technical projects. First, Warp's performance is top notch. It's ranked number one on Terminal Bench and 75% on SWE Bench Verified scoring higher than tools like Cloud Code on coding benchmarks. Next, it has the best UX for coding. Warp combines everything into a unified developer workbench, so that includes coding, AI agents, and CLI tools all in one place. You've seen this in action during the demos. And thirdly, you get flexibility. Unlike Cloud Code, Warp isn't limited to just the terminal. And unlike tools like Cursor, Warp works entirely across the development lifecycle. Perfect. Warp has successfully helped me debug my application and if we scroll down a bit, you'll be able to see Amazon Aurora listed as a service. If you want to explore Warp for yourself, I'll leave a link to it in the description below where you can get Warp Pro for just $1 in your first month using my code Lucy. So those are the top three trends I see shaping the future of cloud and coding. What are your thoughts? 
let me know in the comments below. Overall, I believe that the future of cloud and coding is going to be a pretty exciting one. Like many major tech transformations we've seen, AI is definitely disrupting the industry and will continue to do so. It's going to be displacing some jobs, but also creating new opportunities. The key isn't to fear the change, but to build skills that will let you work alongside these new tools. If you want to keep up to date, you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.